Okay, so maybe I just get started. Uh, talk about like, I, I, I will try to use my insights to, to talk about this topic, not just mention a lot of data you can Google on the internet. So, okay. Uh, this one. okay, so first of all, I will talk a very, have a very quick look about the Chinese market. And then we will talk about the difficulties and challenges when you want to like publish in games in, in China. And uh, we will, I will also uh, bring a successful example to let you know when you want to publish games in China, what kind of job or what kind of difficulties or uh, what kind of opportunity you will have and uh, what kind of uh, modification you have to do for your games. Okay. First, about the Chinese market. I will just give you a very quick look. Why China? It's simple. It's going very fast. Uh, you can see 2010, uh, there are only like uh, 35 million mobile users, game users uh, in total. But to the 2000, uh, 2015, it become like 10 times. So actually it's going very fast. So I, I, I don't want to talk about the data because you can Google it. And then um, I will just show you very quick about our uh, fragment ship. Uh, actually it, it's the mobile version of our PC games. We um, adapted to the mobile games. Right now it's the number one on Chinese iOS S. Uh, top grossing charts from last March till right now. It's still rank the number one. And uh, according to the revenue, you can check on the Apple Any, uh, it's worldwide number four. Uh, actually, it, it made for the Chinese market only. So actually, it helped us to make huge money, I would say. And uh, actually, you can see the PCU, it's over 2 million a day. So um, you can just imagine like it's a, it's a game with social platform. And uh, this kind of element and this kind of uh, social platform is the main topic I want to share with you. Because if you can keep your users to stay in your games like five or six hours a day, uh, then you can uh, like just imagine when, when people go into the shopping mall. If they can stay in the shopping mall for a very long time, overall, overall maybe you, you don't push them to buy something, but they still have to uh, go to a restaurant, or buy some grocery, something like that. So that means you can make some money for it, although you don't have to push it very hard. Okay, so then we, we just uh, go to the, the main topic, the to uh, dif difficulties and challenges. So I would like to give you a very quick look about what kind of like art or story Chinese players are love to play. Uh, first of all, okay, it's a cute, big hat, uh, very traditional Chinese story, Westward Journey. Actually, right now, the number one and number two uh, titles on the grossing chart in China, uh, both produced by uh, NetEase, and uh, the same story, the same thing. And then, I think I have to mention about the uh, Clash COC, the clash of, uh, oh sorry, COC, okay, so kind of mad, mess. Uh, it's so, I, I think it's the most successful Western games in China. But you can tell, it's, uh, it's a little bit different compared to the normal Western games. It's a little bit cute, leaning to the realism story, uh, Western magic war. So this kind of uh, art, our Chinese, uh, our Chinese players love to play because it's a little bit familiar with the traditional one. 
and then the very cute one cartoon and exaggerating love story because I, I think it's affected by the Japanese culture as well. Uh, so I, I think most of speech about the difficulties all about this kind of technology. Like if you want to publish games in China, normally a uh, Chinese publisher will ask you like reduce your download size Maybe casual games you should under 100 megabytes, and the non casual maybe you can yeah under 200. And I think for the hardcore games like uh, our fa Fantasy Westward Journey, it's only about like 400. Uh, so uh, compared to the the Western, I, I think West West is kind of broken like outside of China, it's okay. Like you can publish the very big files over one gigabytes, it's okay. But in China, because the the uh, internet access is not so stable, and uh, people uh, care about their cost about internet access, so yeah, you should try to reduce the size. And uh, lots of people always talk about the the, the ch uh, channels, like they are like over four hundred uh, enjoy channels, and. Uh, uh, when it comes to anti-cheat, I, I think it's a very important idea I, I should mention a little bit. Because uh, in China, there are too many people, right? So a lot of people will always find in some like loop hopes in your games. Like how to like uh, earn the unlimited coins in your games. So if you don't like update your games very often, to, to like trying to avoid this kind of situation happen, so it will cause you a lot of trouble. And uh, about server, uh, normally in China we prefer separate servers because it's also related to the social uh, platform. I will talk it about later. Okay, uh, I, I just mention this very quickly. I, I think with the fierce competition. Uh, only the innovative and uh, well published games can win over the, the most games because uh, a lot of people have maybe have noticed that Chinese market is pretty profitable, so everyone wants to get a share of it, uh, but it's pretty hard, I would say. And uh, okay, that's my main points or ideas about this uh, speech. So if you want to get success in China, you should take three of these elements into consideration. First of all, user experience. It's related to the, your gameplay, the overall uh, experience while the users play in your games. And then community. It's about the social uh, platform. And then monetization. It's, it should be a very good circle to make you success in China. Okay, uh, about the innovative gameplay. Okay, uh, I, I think I, 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 don't, I don't have to like explain too much about this topic. I, I think Western developers are very good at innovation, especially compared to the Chinese developers. So if you can bring out a very good uh, gameplay, innovative gameplay, it should be a very good step to make success in China. And then, Genshin makes some financial sense. Um, like I said, monetization in, in China is very important. It's not very simple, like a lot of people always think, okay, maybe you should just uh, set out the item shops and put some items on the stores and the people will just buy it. Actually, it's kind of different. I will explain it a little bit. Uh, when it comes to monetization, you can see there are very different way to, to do it. In China, people prefer free to play because I think most of Chinese players, they grew, they grew up in um, grow up with internet access. So that means they have already used to play games before they buy it. But when they are enjoy the games, 
like I said, maybe they are willing to play games uh, five or six hours a day. They are willing to pay because they want to like have better social status in the game, in the games. Uh, so yeah, for for China particularly, recharge. You 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 should like prepare every kind of way to let your users to pay in the game. Uh, and uh, I, I think uh, for actually they are not very popular about the premium download in, in China. So uh, for like NAIS, we try to avoid to use this kind of uh, monetization way. And uh, when it comes to the community, I, I think it's very important. Uh, for us, we think our main reason or main idea about develop new games is try to make our users can have more interaction in the game. So we try to set up all kinds of uh, systems or ways to let them interact in the game. So like growing system, if a players, their, their, their characters can grow up very fast in the early age, then they have to interact with others. Because if they, they don't know how to play afterwards, they can find someone to help them use the social system, like friend system. They can make some new friends in the game. And they can married, get married in the game. And also, you can find some mentor. Because the, the game will also provide some rewards, points to the mentor. So people are willing to teach new people how to play well in the game. And also, like marriage system. If you, you, you uh, get married with someone else in the game, you can get extra like rewards, benefits, tools in the game. So you, that means you will have more, more interaction with someone else in the game. So that will give you more reasons to stay in the game. And you, will, you are willing to like log in every day. Lots of my colleagues actually I, I, I observe their behavior like when they go to the office, they will just open their I iPad and log into our games and just put it aside next to their computer, uh, computers or monitors, and uh, wait for their like, partners, friends, log in to the game and uh, talk to them or something like that. So just imagine like it's when when we uh, produce the fantasy westward journey. It's more like, um, again, with Facebook or uh, Twitter's function in it. So we don't rely on the Facebook or Twitter's to let our users to interact. Actually, we, we just keep them in our games to talk to each other. So I, I think the same situation about the PvP. If you want if people can like compete with each other, that means they will have more interaction into the game. So it's more like the real world, right? So you can play the PVE and the PVP as well. And uh, if you can, you, if you beat up by someone else, that means you will have more motivation to like let your characters become stronger into the games, maybe you will find some helps from your friends or the next system like uh, guild system because a lot of people, when, when they just log into the new games, they want to find some help. They can join this guild system. So it's a good way to arouse the player's emotion to, to, to uh, change or get connection with other players. Uh, okay, then we move to the successful example. I will show you the World Soccer Collection S. Actually, it's the first mobile game licensed from uh, foreign developers 
Japanese company Konami. Why I want to uh, mention these games because I, I think uh, for the football and soccer, th this kind of things maybe you are more familiar with. Uh, actually, it's the top uh, sports games since launch, and uh, it 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 had ranked 11 on grossing chart and keep very stable ranking position for the past two wait, two years. So. When it comes to the localization, actually we, we do it a lot like we add uh, daily task uh, or we change the user interface to suitable for Chinese users' behavior or habits and uh, we, we, we adjust and we add the newbie guide. And of course, we add the leaderboard into the games. Let's you can let users or players know that how well or how bad they did in the game. Okay, so you can see there is the full optimization of the newbie guide. Okay, so actually we, we add uh, anim animation and uh, guide into the system to let people can like more easily to understand how to play the games uh, in a very short time. Uh, and the Chinese players prefer video and images than words. And uh, we also added the seven days checkup. So check in, so people can like, they, they, they will have more motivation to check in into the game uh, and they can get rewards after that. So you can see these Chinese words one day uh, first day, second day, third day, something like that. So when you check in, you can get the different rewards. And uh, we also add the, our wiki system into the game. So when players are confused about the terms in the games, so they can use this kind of wiki to like understand uh, what kind of system or what kind of tools uh, they have to use to, to play well into the game. And uh, we also uh, convinced the Konami to let us to, to use well-known teams and players to, to guide uh, our users in the game. And uh, I think it's the fans economy affects uh, previous prevails in China. Because actually in, in China, a lot of people, they don't play football or soccer, but they love to watch. So it's interesting. So, so just think about it. If you can ask or use very famous guys or players into the game to guide them, so they will feel okay. I follow my idols, my heroes to play the game. So that's a pretty good idea. So I, I just want to show like uh, our like process to update our games. So actually, like I said before, Chinese users try try we try to avoid the cheating in the game, and uh, we also want to like make our users interact more into the game. So we keep at different systems into our games, like first of all, we, we add World Challenge match, match. So players can challenge in the top global teams and uh, they can become the plus uh, players. That means they will have different status on their names. And uh, we also add a new command to, to like broadcast the games they are playing. So we use different famous guys. They, so actually the users can choose which kind of to use. And uh, we also add the leaderboard matchmaking to let people know what's their like ranking on, on the game. So we also at the glassy match play. So actually, this is a pretty 
uh, interested in idea. Actually, they are, these are two things. Uh, different players can choose their own cars to join one team to compete uh, other teams. So that means they are uh, 10 cars, so that means they are 10 players into one team. They can play with, compete with another team. That means uh, if you want to like, uh, keep the honor into your team, you should like work harder or polish or like make your cars stronger to win again, to help the, your team to win again. So I think that's pretty much what I, what I want to share. So if you have any questions, please free to ask. Hello. Um, <clears throat> in the West, in free to play, play games, uh, it seems that uh, game designers, they try to limit the time a user can play for per day. And uh, it seems that in Chinese game, it's not the case at all. It's unlimited. There is no limit. Uh, yes, actually, uh, there are some limitations about, I, I think about age. If you under a certain age, you don't allow to play very long time in, in, in the games. But I, I think it's about 18. Uh, I need to check it out, but it's kind of protect, uh, the protection for, for the children. So, but if you are a DAO, you don't have these kind of limitations. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you said in China people are concerned about their internet usage on their phones to keep the app small. How often are people actually signing in then to these games on their phone uh, at a time if they're worried about the data? Do they have you know, 10 games and they just check you know, a few minutes at a time or are they connected constantly all day to one game checking it the whole they time? They connect all the time. Okay. Yeah, some, like I mentioned before, like our fantasy westward journey, because just like you, you are, just imagine you use Facebook. So they, they, they prefer just log in and uh, uh, be online and waiting for friends to talk to them and maybe ask uh, you to join uh, me uh, to, to like uh, go through the Crashes, something like that, or yeah, or help me, something like that. So it's so that's why people are concerned their internet uh, data. So normally they will play it under the Wi-Fi access. Yeah. A question. I had a discussion with a colleague of you very recently, and he told me that a large part of your mobile game revenues doesn't go through the official App Store store. So you try to monetize your games also directly, so you don't have to give 30% to the store? Is that true, and how does that work, if it's true? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. In, in China, uh, like, of course, um, if you want to play uh, games in iOS uh, platform, mm -hmm. you have to use the Apple Store mm -hmm. to download the, 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 the games, so you still have to, to yeah. use the yeah. Apple Store's payment. And the land, uh, we, but when it comes to the Androids, yeah. uh, there are so many different Android systems, uh, platform or channels. They will use their own uh, way to ask users to pay into the game. So that's the pretty troublesome uh, issue because if you want to like publish in your games in these um, Platforms that means you have to integrate their SDKs. So that means maybe hundreds or thousands, something like that. So depends on how many like uh, Android ch channels you want to publish in your games. Thanks. Okay, I think that's it. Let's have one last round of applause. Okay, thank you.